Hi there, this is Alba Silvente, a DevRel engineer at the Stereo Blog and an Axe Ambassador. My top performance tip of the day for Nax 3 is the use of the new version of the Nax image module. So let's take a look together on how it works. First of all, let's install the Nax image version 1 module. A package that allows you to resize and transform your images using a built-in optimizer or your favorite image CDN. Once we have it installed, let's add the module in the NAS configuration file. Now let's make use of the NAS image component inside the app.view. And let's see the result on the browser. But what about resizing our image? If we want to resize our image, we just need to go to the code and specify the parameters with NHAIF. Now, as you can see, the version that they provide us is the resize version we just asked for. And in the URL, you can see the parameters we just specify. And what about the format of our image? Do we want to change it? Maybe for the beef format? Let's add it, just the parameter format to the image. Save it and see the result on the browser. Of course, we can see now in the URL that the format of beef is there, but let's check, for example, the network if they are also reading that type. And now we can see here that the beef format is the type of the image. Now let's make use of another component that they provide us that is called next picture. And you will ask yourself, why make use of the next picture component instead of the next image one we were just using? Well, because the picture generates a third tag, as we can see here, that provides the WebP format of your image. So in case the browser allows you to run WebP, then you can use this image instead of the original one but also provide a responsive image for each of the screens they are defined by default in this Nax image model. In case we want to provide our own responsive images, we can just go to the code again and add the sizes property. In the sizes property, you will add each of the screens you want to add a different value of size and the size of the image for every of the viewports. In this case, we use 200 pixels for the smallest screens, then for the medium ones, 500 pixels, and then for the largest ones, just the width of the screen. And if we go back to the browser, we will see just the result inspecting on the image. We will see the different viewports with the different image we just specified. So if we are changing the size of the viewport, we will be using a different size of the image, as you can see. After seeing how it works, if you are wondering what other possibilities you have when it comes to optimize your images, go to b1.image.naxjs.org and check all the features that the image model offers you.